Hello, in this short video, we're going to go through the pain gate theory. We're going to explain it very simply so you have an understanding of what it is. Now, the pain gate theory explains how the brain decides whether or not to feel pain. Now, let's look at the history of the pain gate theory. Now, this was first proposed by Ronald Melzack and Patrick Wall in 1965. It was such a revolutionary concept that changed the way scientists and medical professionals understood pain. Now, before this theory, it's widely believed that pain was a simple direct process where an injury automatically caused pain signals to travel to the brain. Now, however, Malzak and Wall challenged this idea, suggesting that the perception of pain is more complex and it involves both the spinal cord and the brain. Now, with the pain gate theory, there are very detailed explanations of exactly how it works. But I've just broken it down into four areas just to make it simple so you understand the process and then you can build on the more in-depth information that's out there. So what happens when you get injured? The nerves will send pain signals from the affected area to your spinal cord. Then you have the gate. So the spinal cord acts like a gate. It can either open to let pain signals through to the brain or it can close to block them. You can also get other signals, so non-painful signs like when you rub your skin or when you get up and move. And these also travel to the spinal cord and these signals can close the gate, reducing the amount of pain you feel. So think about when you hit your funny bone um, on your elbow, you will automatically bring it in and you will rub it and the pain will decrease. Also, the brain has a role, so your brain can also influence the gait. If you're stressed or anxious, the brain may open the gait, making the pain feel worse. If you're relaxed or distracted, the, ba the brain may help you close the gait, so therefore reducing the pain. So in summary, the pain gate theory suggests that pain isn't just about injury. It's also about how your body and brain handle the signals. So rubbing an injury or distracting yourself can help close the gate and reduce pain.